Uh, well, welcome back to the final episode, Tech Quarters TV, here with Julie Simpson. Uh, it's been so good, I've got to tell you. Some brilliant stuff that you've Thanks. shared with us, actually, Julie. Thank you. Uh, I think what we want to talk about in this final episode really is Inspire, uh, maybe a little bit about Future Decoded. But actually, first question is, what's your biggest achievement to date from Microsoft Inspire? Well, there's been huge um, um, achievements. For, I mean, it, last year was my 15th year wow, of attending years. Inspire, God, right? I've done and 10, I think, but 15 is I mean, outrageous. I always say to people, when it was like five or six, people used to be really impressed. You know, yeah. they'd be like, wow, you've been doing yeah. that for six years. And now I say, I was 15, and they yeah. look at me like, oh, right. Like, what the heck have you been doing with your life for 15 years? I don't know. But my biggest achievement, Very absolutely, good. without question, hands down, um, would be that last year um, we welcomed Satya Nadella uh, to the stage at the Women in Technology lunch. Oh, fantastic. Um, and it was, it was just amazing. How was it? Um, what was it, you know, what did you ask him? You know, how, oh, come on, tell us all about it. He was just the, I mean, he is just the <laughs> nicest, mm -hmm. most genuine um, leader mm. that I have met. And I've met, met a few senior people, mm. but Satya, such a class act, really yeah, nice, nice, genuine, nice. authentic person. Mm. Um, and I think, um, obviously, we all feel like that. I don't know if you, mm. you know, the stand mm. innovation he got mm. when he... Um, yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, so. he was trying to quieten people down and everyone yeah. was like, Satya, yeah. <laughs> it was great. Well, it's, it was it's that one thing that he was, uh, you know, in, in his book, obviously, it was all about empathy. Yeah. And the guy's got bucket loads of it yeah. and he's, he's just pushed that through Microsoft. In fact, when I listened to that, you know, it's like it just resonated with me. You know, it's like you, you absolutely need to think of other people and how they are you know and take an objective view on all these individual areas and be empathetic not just to your colleagues but you know to your your um your customers you know and how that, you deal with those i and, completely agree yeah. empathy and being yourself you know being your authentic self yeah. and having the confidence to do that yeah. and I think anyone would say, you know, um, I feel the same way actually about mm. um, about Gabriella Schuster, you know, and you, mm. she just is who she is, yeah. and there's no difference to that, and who yeah. she is on stage, yeah. who she is with a customer meeting. Yeah. I've been in some really intense meetings with Gabriella, and she's yeah. just the same person. I think such is the same, and yeah. and that whole culture is yeah. permeating its way yeah. through Microsoft, and I think Microsoft I've been working with for <coughs> years. <laughs> um, you know, did get a little bit intense on, you know, numbers and and kind of lost a bit of the entrepreneurism right. a few years ago. Right. And I think Satcher mm. is bringing that back. Yeah. So my number one moment would definitely be, you Fantastic. know, standing on the stage with my with my buddy, Christine Bongard. And yeah. ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Satcher Nadella. <laughs> and out he came. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Brilliant. It was amazing. Innovation. Yeah, Fantastic. it was amazing. Good for you. Brilliant stuff. And um, I suppose also, you know, because you've been there 15 years on the trot, let's talk about <laughs> tips that you can give partners, you know, so newbies that go there or, you know, people that might be getting a bit, you know, tired after five or six years. What what should they be thinking to revitalise themselves, you know, at Inspire? That's a great question, actually, mm. um, it's particularly the people that, that have been there before, because I think the first time you go, mm. you're just blown away, aren't you? I don't you, know what by... to do. I'm no. just walking around going, uh, should I go here yeah. and watch that or that? Or, you know, you've just got to focus on a plan, haven't you? But... Yeah, you've got to be really clear. And it is a big investment for an organisation. It mm. It's not just the cost of somebody going, but mm. the fact that that person is not going to be in the business for a week. Mm. Um, and, and that is normally a senior business person yeah. of some description, be it an MD or a CEO Absolutely. or a sales director or mm. someone like that. So you've got to make it count. Mm. Um, my biggest advice, I, I always start with uh, footwear. Um, because I think there is nothing worse than uh, having sore feet. Got to have high heels walking around, you know, <laughs> yeah, only six the weekends, kilometre circuit. Only the you know. weekends. <laughs> um, I mean, that is that is the thing. I mean, you you just cannot imagine when you're in a conference centre and it's a mile, a mile and a half from one end to the other, yeah, right? Yeah, totally, yeah. And, and you've got to walk really fast and a long, long way, mm -hmm. and not just then to the hotels and all the standing all the time and evening receptions got to take care of your feet. That's yeah. one of the biggest things, yeah. man or woman. Yeah. I mean, you guys have got it easy with your yeah, socks yeah, yeah. and your yeah. lace-ups, you yeah, know. Yeah. yeah, but also, I mean, you know, I, you're exactly right there, but uh, I booked all my meetings in the Microsoft UK area. You know, right, good. Because, you know, you just can go to the good. different tables everywhere and you'll just burn shoe leather, you know, so, yeah, I think ensconce yourself on one of those tables in the UK area, but not before me. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think the other thing is that people um, set up their schedules and they intend to do lots and lots of meetings and then meetings overrun or they get some get summoned to do something else. Yeah, and so yes. you can find yourself yeah. if you book a meeting in a remote area. Mm. So you think, oh, let's not meet at the Connect tables or mm. let's not meet in the Connect lounge. Mm. Let's go to a Costa or something like that. I think that's a mistake because mm. you can be a long way away from yeah. where everybody else is if that person doesn't turn up. So yeah. much better to use the Connect tables yeah, because, do you know what, there will be other things you can do with other people around. Yeah. And you're absolutely yeah. right about yeah. the regional lounges, yeah. right? Because there's people in there all oh. the time. And if someone can't make it, there's always someone else there that you absolutely. can speak to you just, and maximise the time. Uh, sorry, Kevin. Like, you're bumping into people that you know you haven't seen for a while. And it's just a great networking event, isn't it? You know, So I, I agree the UK area is, is the right thing for me. Yeah, Especially definitely. if you can get out to seminars, fine. But actually... For me, it's all about meeting people like your good self. And if, you, if you're in that area, you will bump into it. Even if you haven't got meetings, it's like, hi, how you doing? Yeah, you know? yeah, and, yeah. and that's the value that I get out of it. So on that note, actually, what value do you get out of Inspire? Well, I, I mean, it's it's the highlight of my career. And for me, you know, for a business that does business development for Microsoft Partners, which is what Resource IT does, yeah. um, you know, I've got 450 potential customers all in one room all at the mm. same time mm. for five days, which is just fantastic, right? <laughs> and half the time they've had a couple of drinks, which makes me a bit more... Uh, Even better, a bit more yeah. Open. And there's a purchase order. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, mm. You know, I mean, how much would you have to spend on marketing, actually, yeah. to achieve that, yeah, to get exactly. 450 oh, potential so customers in one place, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So for Resource IT, is Inspire is and remains and always will be mm -hmm. um, a, a great investment for us. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, the things that we get out of it are mm -hmm. the chance to talk to people like you mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. understanding how your business is evolving and yes. changing. Yes. Um, maybe how you're embracing things like AI, yeah. what you're doing about managed services yes. and how your business model is changing. Mm -hmm. Because... You know, if we don't talk to the entrepreneurs, the CEOs, mm -hmm. the managing directors and understand what they're doing with their businesses, then how can we be a valuable asset to you as a marketing yeah, organisation? So the conversations like we're having now yeah. um, and having that inspire, that yeah. is hugely valuable to mm. Resource IT. Mm. Talking of that, AI, yeah, it is the hashtag AI. Yeah, it's on everybody's lips, isn't it? You know, artificial intelligence. So. Uh, I know we're doing quite a bit with it and I think we've always, you know, we've got a culture of wanting to be first to the post really with yeah. new technology. So we are investing our time and we've built our own bot that you can query and it serves up videos on how to use Office 365, you know, the 365 Cloud Academy. Uh, we've called him Cosmo. Wow. Or her. Could be her actually, yeah, couldn't it? Cosmo. It, it's Cosmopolitan it. really. So <laughs> there you go. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, that's a magazine, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've read that. Without the lawyers on us for that one. So, yeah, okay. Um, so... Um yeah, anyway, AI, you know, are you doing anything with AI? Are you getting into it in a big way? Um, I mean, you know, we have to um, be there just like you on yes. the leading edge. You know, you're, um, if you think about the way your business is evolving and what mm. you're doing in terms of your services mm. and getting into technology, and then you come to me and say, right, mm. we want to market this. Yeah. We need to know what you're talking about. So yeah. what are we doing about it is probably, the, you know, the same things that you are thinking yeah. about. What is the bit intrinsic business value? Mm. Where is the opportunity? Mm. Why would people be interested? Mm. How can we help organisations to go after new markets with mm. new products and services? Mm. And then actually, what can we apply in our own business yeah. um, exactly. with, the, with the technology? Because, yeah. you know, AI is huge for marketing. We Absolutely are, ginormous. I, I totally agree. You know, we, we're scratching the surface, Julie, on this AI thing. You know, I really think we are. We're, we're, we're in the middle of creating our own internal processes instead of those old PDFs between teams, you know, actually getting a bot to capture all the details wow. and, you know, just make it speed up the business a little bit, make us more efficient. But I honestly think we are scratching the surface yeah. of what's coming next, you know. I understood from somebody the other day that the Microsoft technology on AI is far ahead of where we are as humans. So we need to catch up with the wow. technology. That's not normally the case, is it? It's normally the other way around. That's so. mind blowing, right? I mean, how do you even get your head around that? Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting, you know. So it's opportunity, right? And yeah, you know, I think the great thing is for businesses yeah. like Tech Quarters, and I know you've always done this, is mm. if you see an opportunity, you go for it. Yes. You know, do it intelligently, mm. weigh up. Is this a good thing for our customers? Is this a good thing for our business? Mm. Can we do this well? Yes. And then being there on the leading edge and, yes. you know, going for it mm. and talking about it and learning and moving always. Because mm. as a tech business, 
That's what customers want, to rely on an organization that is innovative and leading edge. Yeah, which is what you are. So I absolutely applaud everything you're doing around that. Sounds amazing. I'll tell you what, we're almost coming to an I'm I'm enjoying this. I could carry on talking all day with you. But uh, Resource IT is just a phenomenal business development, marketing consultancy. Everybody in the channel knows Resource IT. Okay, so you've done incredibly well there. So (laughs) what's next? Well, um, I think what's next for me is, um, as I said, you know, a couple of episodes ago, we have the most incredible general manager now in the business, um, Sarah Gray, and she has some new ideas about what we're going to do with um, Resource IT. So I'm really excited to do that. I will remain the CEO. Um, It is very close to my heart. You've Um, got to stay involved. Absolutely well. But, you know, digital um, is, is huge for us. Um, the channel enablement stuff that yes. Sarah brings to the party is massive. Um, and what I'm interested in for the future is um, maybe thinking about how we can expand into maybe new markets. Mm-hmm. So I love mm-hmm. Microsoft, mm-hmm. Um, but Microsoft mm-hmm. is one of the technology of vendors mm-hmm. we work with. So mm-hmm. we've been mm-hmm. thinking about you know some of the other vendors that could be interested okay. in our experience. Very exciting. Um, and actually putting our toe in the water maybe outside of tech. So oh, wow. okay. um, our um, head of digital services, who also happens to be my daughter, Tori Simpson, <laughs> uh, has just been to um, the European Parliament to train them on uh, oh, social media. Oh, wow, fantastic. Um, she got approached by um, the European Parliament. They'd seen some of her work on LinkedIn oh, and brilliant. said, you know, we'd love you to come over and talk to us. So she's running workshops outside of the tech sector. Um, so, so much opportunity for yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for the future. It's really exciting. Exciting 2019 ahead of us. Julie, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks, I, I, honestly, I could talk all day. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming My on pleasure. to Tech Quarters TV. My pleasure. We'll be seeing you soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.